A hearty welcome to all of you. The topic here is the Raspberry Pi and its significance, how it is so useful nowadays in simple senses for academics as research. Actually, this video is prepared based upon the concept that it helps the beginners, or we can say the introductory part is discussed in this work. Here, the Raspberry Pi is a trademark and its courtesy is given below as a website here. Now, moving to the history of Raspberry Pi. It was launched in 2012, even though there are so many versions released later. Verse. Here, it was just like another controller or processor, it is made up of different memory capacity and uh, memory having peripheral device support here and moving towards its organization or origin it belongs to a raspberry pi foundation in a it is a uk company limited by guarantee and a charity registered in england and wales actually it is a foundation group which includes a thing like color dojo foundation which is mainly of Irish nature. And all this belongs to a nonprofit like Raspberry Pi Educational Services Private Limited, which is incorporated in India to deliver education services. Now, look at the name here of Raspberry Pi. It is made after the fruit Pi, which is actually called as Raspberry Pi. It is mainly because the neighboring neighborhood countries uh, of the origin of this one of UK, all of them have the so many companies with their fruit names like apple, apricot, other names. There is a reason why they have given the name as Raspberry Pi as the name of microcontroller. Moving from here. Let us move towards the significance. What is the importance of Raspberry Pi? Very first thing is multitasking. Now, the multitasking here means like driving the robo or having some streaming media at a time or like uh, having a robo which is traveling upside down or having a virtual keyboard, all this type of tasks which involve at a time means multidisciplinary works at a time those type of places this raspberry pi is more used uh, which is like just like a call we opposite to the arduino boards which are available they're used for hosting single task but raspberry pi is useful for multitasking applications it is a controller useful for multitasking applications Next significance is that it works on a Linux OS basically, but its main OS is Raspbian, named as Raspbian. Now, let us look at this one. It is a 64 bit controller, it runs on a Linux. Why Linux is so significant is it is an open source software which is available to everyone. OS. Oh, Next one is higher level processing capability, as this is a general purpose computer which is operates on a Linux, as I said earlier, and it can run the multiple programs at a time. It is just like a brain, the Raspberry Pi works like a brain. That's why it, the main advantage here comes here is the processing happens at the higher levels. That's why it says that higher level processing capability is available for Raspberry Pis. Well, that's why we go for this one in the so many projects being from the very small projects to like moving robots or driving robots to biggest of the projects. Next of the significances is mini computer in other words 
this Raspberry Pi can also be termed as a mini computer, mainly because it has a video output. It contains some ports like HDMI, SD card, USB 2.0, like audio jocks. There is a reason in simple words, it can be called as a mini computer without availability of a screen. And it is also useful as a computer which performs all the browsing perks like internet using uh, playing the HD videos. If you connect it to a monitor, uh, it can help us to have play the games of high speed. That is why in simple words, it is called as a mini or micro computer without a screen. This is the reason why Raspberry Pi is nowadays faster used in most of the academic and research works. This is just a beginner's task. There are so many things to be discussed about Raspberry Pi. It will be a big time to discuss about it, but it can be said that the basics are covered here so that it can be helpful for even a beginner to understand what are the simple points they have to know about Raspberry Pi microcontroller. Thank you for listening and I hope you all have enjoyed this video.